Hey guys, it's Ability44 here, and in this video I'm going to be interviewing Jack Mob. He is the main owner and lead developer of RS Buddy, and RS Buddy has recently taken the name as number one bot seller in Runescape. So Jack Mob, let's start off with a little bit of background info. Uh, how long have you been coding for, and where exactly did your passion for it come from? I've been programming for seven, eight years. Uh, I, I could say a lot more about you know, what I've been doing. Uh, over that time, and you know, as for the second part of your question, um, I could certainly you know spend a lot of time elaborating about where my passion for it comes from. But briefly, uh, programming, you know, is logical um, and abstract, but it's able to produce you know useful results in a really sort of flexible way and work with huge amounts of data. And, and of course, there's the internet making it all accessible, um, and that's great. And you know, I'm sure many of these. Uh, reasons for my interest in programming I share with you know, plenty of other people, so uh, I don't want to spend too much time, you know, elaborating on that. Um, okay, so for the second question, where did your interest in making bots for RuneScape come from? When I was um, 15, uh, sort of as a person interested in programming, and um, I came across sort of RuneScape cheating um, and joined on an IRC network, and after a while, I ended up running an uh, IRC channel uh, concentrated on you know, RuneScape bots and RuneScape sort of reverse engineering, um, as well as you know some more general stuff. But um, you know, a while later, I ended up refactoring most of the RuneScape client, and you know, the reason I was interested in that, I mean, first of all, I you know, played the game previously, but beyond that, um, the client itself, although it was sort of quite procedural and sort of the algorithms used in RuneScape are fairly simple, the, the implementation of them, you know, was very intelligently done and, and the algorithms were well optimized and so it was sort of an interesting puzzle um, uh, to refactor because it really required, you know, sort of insight into the semantics of these um, algorithms to produce a good refactor. So, so, um, I mean, botting was really always a, a sort of s secondary to that, really. Um, it didn't take that much uh, effort, or, or sort of all that knowledge of the client, uh, to keep bots running. Um, you know, just needs to make sure that um, the other people who were interested in, you know, script writing and sort of a bit of bot development didn't, you know, destroy the uh, product and uh, projects and make them unmanageable. But you know, in terms of keeping the bots up to date, well, after RuneScape updates, you know, it's only a click of a button in most cases because of the software I had on my end to uh, uh, keep them up to date. That's actually really quite interesting. Okay, so we're going to be going um, to switch over to Jagex, uh, Jagex-related questions, kind of. Uh, pertaining to Jagex versus the bots, do you think that the bots will be forever gone with the bot nuke? Cluster Flutterer and other extents that Jagex has taken to get rid of the bots in RuneScape? Yes. Although the initial bot nuking day Cluster Flutterer uh, release uh, wasn't too much in and of itself for bot developers to deal with, I think cumulatively uh, the updates that Jagex have lined up should, um, well, I won't go into the technical details, but you know, should leave you confident that bots won't return in any significant numbers. Uh, and further, that you know, even the the remaining sort of less sophisticated bots will um, also be dealt with shortly. Wow, that's coming directly from an experienced bot developer, and uh, that's that's really exciting for me as a legitimate player to uh, to hear that actually. Um, but let's move on to the second question. ModMMG had said on the RuneScape forums that whoever was to get the bots up and running again within 14 to 28 days time period, he would offer that person a job at Jagex. Did you think at that point in time he was actually being serious? In a sense. I'll say that um, there was certainly elements of trolling to that post, but um, despite that, if the... Uh, you know, Ability and you know, trustworthiness are there to support um, that, then you know, perhaps something could come of it, and I guess you have to see in the next uh, 14 to 28 days. Okay, fair enough. Uh, for the third question on my Jagex list, would you explain exactly what has happened between you personally 
and Jagex. As a few of you have heard, I was uh, at RuneFest, and I have discussed um, certain things. Um, expect to hear more about that shortly. Hmm, okay then. Uh, let's see. Question number four. If you were to become a Jagex mod, what aspect do you think would be most exciting for you? Um, I guess I'd be working you know, on the engine on testing servers, but you know, when on the production servers, probably rolling back Arbiter. <laughs> nice one. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Arbiter is the co-owner of RS Buddy. Um, speaking of RS Buddy, actually, uh, we're going to start going into the RS Buddy related questions. What exactly do y'all plan to do with RS Buddy now? And for the changes that y'all make, do you think that the players that used to use your site only for bots uh, will be able to switch over to become legit players? Um, well, you know, gold farmers and, and the sort of profiteers who've stayed around to sort of make money off the game and all these sorts of things can obviously go um, sort of get jobs and or educations or whatever is most appropriate for them, but... Um, as for the players who've you know used bots on their mains, um, sort of save them time. Uh, yeah, I very much hope that the um, you know they'll move on to you know playing the game um, with everyone else on the sort of new level playing field and, and contribute suggestions as to as to um, you know what would make the game more enjoyable for them. Uh, all right, cool. Um, for the final question. A lot of the members of RS Buddy Forums had very strong faith that you were going to get the bots up and running again. Would you explain to them the problem that there would have been with that? It's fairly obvious that gold farming should have no place in RuneScape. As for botting on personal accounts, um, well, it, it obfuscates the process of um, improving the gameplay for real people, uh, while also making you know, real people's time in the game worth less. Um, and at the same time, it's obviously you know antisocial. So um, you know the problem is that you can't make RuneScape you know the best game it can be when you know such fundamental issues exist with the gameplay. Um, so to work against the process that Jags have started, you know, um, to combat this, you know, wouldn't just be unethical. But I believe that you know in the long term, many people who've you know been botting until recently will actually would be relieved by um, by this update. Of course, you know it's easier to see this and agree with this sort of first hand at, at Moonfest uh, than it is when you're you know, sitting sort of with an IDE open, glancing over sort of through the veil of um, the latest public announcement on the Moonscape website. But beyond that, I think Moonscape's actually you know really leading the way in this whole area, and and so I certainly noticed that too. All right, cool deal, man. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to add to the end of this interview? If uh, you have further questions, or anyone has further questions, um, of course we have the forum at RS Buddy, um, and IRC if you can get a hold of me there. Uh, but beyond that, no. So you know, thank you for interviewing me. Yeah, man, of course. Uh, thanks for agreeing to the interview, too. And, of course, thank you, everyone, for watching this video. I hope it was informative to y'all. I hope you gained a lot of information on what's going to happen with RS Buddy next and what's actually being foreseen down the road for RuneScape pertaining to bots. RS Buddy isn't ran by just one person. It's ran by a group of people. My friend Ben Tells a Story took a group interview of the people who actually run RS Buddy, and that is the image that you see on your screen now. If you'd like to check out his video, please click on that image, and you will be taken straight to it. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Um, don't forget to rate. Also, subscribe to stay updated on the uh, newest RuneScape updates. I'll be here to tell you all about them. And don't forget to click that annotation.